Hello everybody, welcome to another video with me Zara and Aiza of course. Let me show you guys Aiza. Aiza! She's just happy looking at herself on the camera. Well, today's video is about her diaper caddy and what I put in it and what are some baby essentials. Alright, let's get started. Oh my gosh, before we get started, there's something I want to show you that came in the mail and it is my favorite item. I can't wait to start using it. Guys, look what I got in the mail. I cannot wait to unbox this. Look at this, you guys. I got the two tripods, one ring light, and I'm going to stick my camera up here and shoot my video. Super excited to receive these items in the mail today. And I can't wait to incorporate them in my videos. I'll just give you guys a demo. I just wanted to do a demo on the ring light. You just need to have it plugged in into something because it comes with a USB plug-in. So I plugged it into my laptop and here I'm going to use a remote. I believe this is the setting you use. Oh, right there. And it has three different settings. So this is one. This is two. And this is three. Super excited to be using it. All right. I'll give you guys a review of how I'm liking this product soon. So this is Isa's diaper caddy. I got it from Amazon. I just want to show you guys. Let's find the front. How it looks. So this is how it looks. And I like the little symbol at the bottom. And I like how this has double felt. So it's super strong. And it has turquoise on the inside, which is pretty cool. Uh, most importantly, this is easy to carry. You can carry it anywhere with you. There's Isa talking in the background. She just wants my attention. But we'll try to make this video as quick as possible. So first and foremost, we have the diapers right here. And I have these blue sheets that I use. For changing our diapers i'll give you guys a demo afterwards then we have uh this baby oil recently i just got the pc brand uh before i had the johnson and johnson i think they're pretty much all the same then i have a few of the avino products for her because she has a slight bit of uh, eczema on her cheeks so i have this one that i used in the past uh works pretty well but then i decided to actually use the eczema care and see if it makes a difference doesn't really make a difference i'll show you guys however what really made a difference all right i'm just gonna walk over here and grab what we were using before so i was using eucerin the original cream it doesn't have any fragrance and it is safe to use our children i I double checked with my family doctor as well as her pediatrician so it is approved you guys can go ahead and use it on your kids if they have eczema so all in all i think this was okay to use as a product i didn't have to get the eczema care but now since i have it i'm just gonna use it and after it's done i'm gonna stick to the eucerin already so i'm just gonna take them out as i go along then my sister was kind enough to get me some wet ones when they were available in stock. Now, because of the pandemic, you don't find them anywhere. It's a nice handy to, thing to have, especially if your child's crying and you don't have anyone to look after them after you change their diapers. So I just use those to clean my hands after. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have so many creams. This is another um, brand I got in States uh when i was visiting this works similar to all the other creams so nothing fancy eucerin is still number one in my list i have baby powder works great i love baby powder i have q-tips now you must be wondering why i have q-tip this is because uh my mom sometimes <laughs> does this desi tote on her where she's some oil and puts it on inside her nostrils usually she uses mustard oil and then it's so when she washes her face later, all her nose gets cleared. Then I have Vaseline. Obviously, I use this when I change her diaper and I put it on her skin. I also have the diaper rash cream. Pseudocrem is the best. You put it on once, you see a huge difference in the diaper, in the rash. I also have this bright water. I just got it again. My uh, daughter wasn't really into uh, the gripe water but my doctor told me to get back on it it is supposed to be really helpful so we just started using it again it's really good you can find it anywhere i bought mine from walmart then then i have the baby rub we've been using it since she was born uh every time her nose is stuffy it's a great thing to have in the diaper caddy 
Okay, I'm just I'll turn this around and see what else is here. So I have this Hydrosense kit for her nose. <laughs> I'm gonna just go back and check on Isa. Be right back. Isa, you what? you mano? She's just really fussy. She wants my attention. Doesn't want me to do anything, and that's why shooting video is so hard. Hanji. Hanji. Now she's all quiet because she knows I'm here with her. So this is the nasal care aspirator that I use for Isa. It's the best product out there for cleaning out your baby's nose. It comes with drops, which I have here. So you put in a few drops. I put in one to two in each nostril. Wait a few minutes. And then I use this to take out everything inside her. I have tried other aspirators as well, but I think this by far is the best one. It comes with everything that you need from filters to the drops and actual tool that you use to suck everything out. So your baby has a clean nose. Works amazing. I love having it in my diaper caddy. I also have this nasal mist. I got it when Isa wasn't feeling too well and it also works great. But I think if you have this kit, use that instead. This is just a backup. Then I have these... Uh, bags that I use to put her diapers in and put them into waste. I also have these two items that I use for Isa. So these are just basically gas drops um, that I use for her. You can also call them colic drops. These are the ones that are available easily in Canada. Oval is the name for these ones. And this one I picked up in States when I ran out of my own. Oh, this works great too. So this is not done and this one is almost done. So I have both of these. I'm going to turn this around. Of course, I have the scissors that I use for her nails. And I, of course, <laughs> you need this to, to file her nails. Just going to twist this around. I have Aura Gel because she's teething and sometimes she gets a lot of pain in her gums. So I use the Aura Gel nighttime. Uh, this is usually the one on the shelf. So I just picked it up. Doesn't really make a difference. You get the nighttime or the daytime. I have Baby Tylenol in grape flavor. She loves it and very easy to feed her. More diaper bags. Uh, this is her comb because she's so tiny. So this is what I use to sometimes comb her hair before I'm doing a photo shoot. But yeah, guys, look at all of these things that fit inside there. And it's very, very easy to carry. So what else did I want to show you guys? Oh, yes. I wanted to show you guys this. These are the diaper sheets that I use. I place them under her bum when I'm changing her diaper so I don't get the sofa or the bed dirty. I'm not a big fan of having a changing table. So this is what I use. One sheet cuts into four and turns out like this this is good for Isa's bumpy right now and then if it gets dirty I just toss it out especially when I it's a poopy diaper I make sure to toss it out because it gets really stinky so this is what I have easily available at the dollar store you can buy the 10 pack or the 14th I just like the 14 better and the diaper bags these are scented also available at Dollarama for $1.50 and 65 bags so pretty good you can toss them out in any waste and they don't smell i also have this item that i use often which is the wipes warmer i really like it my daughter did not like changing diaper especially with cold wipes so this is something that helps out a lot and you guys must be wondering why do i have a sloth right here because i'm gonna do a diaper changing demo on the sloth Alrighty, let's do that so my five diaper changing essentials include Vaseline, the diaper, uh, the wipe, sorry, uh, a diaper bag, actual diaper, and the changing sheet. So I'm just going to put it on. These are five things that I actually count sometimes in case I'm forgetting something. And that's what I use for my diaper changing sessions. All right, so let's do a demo on this. Let's see if I can change the diaper and tape it at the same time. So this is how the diaper looks. First thing you want to do is open this up completely and take out all the flaps. So I'll just show you guys close up. These are the flaps that need to be taken out. 
And then this is how the diaper looks before you put it on. This is where the bump goes. The print always goes at the front. All right, so I have the diaper right here. I'm putting the swath. In your case, it'll be the baby. These are the flip, the flaps you take out. Open this up, put it on. Do the same thing on the other side. When you put them on, you just want to make sure the flaps are out just like this all around. And another very important key factor I want to show you guys is that this flap needs to go inside and then this goes over. If for whatever reason this thing rips, which happens all the time, you don't want to put on the diaper because the leakage will happen very easily. Other than that, here we go. <laughs> this flap looks so cute wearing a diaper. Alright guys, that was it from today's video. I hope you guys liked today's video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I do post videos every single week. Thank you and have a wonderful night.